So this is my first TikTok of 2024. So before I get started, a very happy, very belated happy new year, everyone. I hope 2024 is treating you amazingly well so far, and it continues to be both happy and blessed as you go forward. So in 2021, it was announced that Bill Condon, the director of films like Dreamgirls and the Disney live action remake of Beauty and the Beast, was going to be directing a remake of Guys and Dolls. And I thought this was a really good idea. I think that I've mentioned in a list before, which I'll link in the comments, I think there are some movie musicals which I think would benefit from a remake, possibly because the way cinema, uh, cinematography and just the way films look today has evolved significantly to make those musical numbers pop out pop even more but also because maybe sometimes the content or the subject matter we view it very very differently to when the movie musical originally came out guys and dolls it's kind of a mixture i actually really like the original film but i definitely think again we have a lot more possibilities of what we can do with that story today so i was very excited about this however as of recording this today there has been no real development on that so i thought i would give my fan cast of who i would like to see in a guys and dolls remake and let me know yours in the comments as well Lieutenant Brannigan, Gary Sinise. This character needs to be somebody who has a level of authority so you believe that there are actual stakes for the gambler characters and I think Gary Sinise definitely would have the authority and the wherewithal to pull off this very kind of frustrated but kind of, you know, fairly intimidating cop who's kind of getting under the skin of the main characters. Big Julie, Joel McKinnon Miller. So most of you probably recognize him as Scully from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I think this would be a really good casting choice because he has a really beautiful kind of classical voice. And I think that will kind of add to the joke of it. If you have this really kind of big intimidating character who has this really kind of beautiful traditional sounding voice. I think that could work very, very well. He obviously is very adept at comedic timing. I think it could be really, really good. And a kind of nice change of pace from him, from a character like Scully. Harry the Horse, Andy Garcia. He's already sung in the Mamma Mia sequel, so again, he's got experience with that. I think that with Harry the Horse, it's really important that this character be one of the more kind of serious grounding characters to kind of make this world film all alive. With Big Julie, there's a lot of potential to make him a little bit comical and a bit ridiculous, even though he is meant to be an intimidating presence. Harry the Horse really needs to be a stabilizing force in this kind of murky underworld. And I think Andy Garcia, through his many, many works, has proven how great of a dramatic actor he is. So I think he pulled that off while still giving the character those touches of humor we see in his comedic work. General McCartwright, Audra McDonald. I mean, it's Audra McDonald, one of the greatest musical theater performers ever do I really need to justify it she's incredible um she's also very very good at playing characters with authority you've seen this both on stage and in her on-screen work I think she would definitely pull this off and I think again having certain actors who come from maybe the Broadway space to kind of represent this classic Broadway show would be a very nice touch and speaking of seasoned theatre professionals, Uncle Arvide Joel Grey. I think this is a character that you really do need to have to kind of offset the kind of murky, morally grey characters because he is such a sweet character. And it would be really nice to see his song being brought back in from the stage show that was cut in the original film. And I think he's such a great actor. He would add those little nuances and touches of his relationship with Sarah to make it that much more sweeter and compelling. Also giving the movie a lot more prestige because Joel Grey is, of course, an Academy Award winning actor. Benny South Street, John Mulaney. I kind of struggled with this character because he really is a character that is so present and yet he doesn't really have a lot of an arc of his own. His tends to be kind of as a duo with Nicely Nicely. So I was thinking, I think that this character needs to be played by a comedic actor to kind of give him a lot more flash and personality so he stands out and John Mulaney would definitely do that. He does have a nice singing voice. We've heard him sing multiple times on SNL and various things. I think it would work and again, he would make that character pop a bit more. Probably the most obvious choice, but I think it would be fabulous. Nicely, nicely, Titus Burgess. He's already played the role on Broadway and YouTube his performance of Sit Down, You're Rocking the Boat at the Tonys. If you haven't, it is wonderful. Obviously, his voice is without question. He's a really great comedic presence as well. And I think he would add a very, he's got a very kind of specific brand of humour and energy, which I think would, again, make Nicely Nicely more than just the character with the big song in the second act. He'd actually give him a lot more to do. And I think him and John Mulaney would be a really, really fun pair to kind of bounce opposite each other. Okay, this one might be a bit surprising, but I think it would work. Adelaide Lizzo. So there has been a lot of discussion recently about the marketability of movie musicals and how how hard it is apparently to sell to a general audience. I think we've seen multiple times that the movie musicals that tend to do the best financially tend to be the ones that have 
big names in the cast. And that is not to disparage the incredible work of actors who predominantly work in on the stage. However, if you're selling this to a movie audience, I think you do need a name or a couple of names that the audience can feel comfortable investing in because movie musicals already are quite a niche genre. So you need something the audience would be comfortable with. Lizzo is obviously an incredible singer. That's what she's known for. Um, but also she's a very, very, very good actress. She's got really good comedic timing and she's hosted SNL and she's done a bunch of other things. I think that she would actually really rock this and give Adelaide, you know, a kind of cool, sexy, fun factor to make her very, very different from the Vivian Blaine interpretation. Obviously, this is also somewhat influenced by Marsha Wallace's incredible turn as the character in the West End production. But generally, you need a big name, this would work. And I think she would do it brilliantly. Nathan Detroit, Ewan McGregor. I think he would nail the humour of the character. I think he obviously can sing, as we know. I think he just has the kind of... I think he has this ability to be very charming and likeable, but I think he also can portray the kind of, not necessarily the sliminess, but definitely there's an element of Nathan that is, you know, a, a slick talker, a manipulator, able to get himself out of trouble easily. And I think Ewan McGregor would nail that. He also has experience. He's played in a production of Guys and Dolls, I believe in the West End about 10, 15 years ago. So he knows the show very, very well. And I think it would be a great pick, especially opposite Lizzo. I could see their energies, which are quite different, having a lot of fun kind of contrasting and conflicting together. Sarah Brown, Anne Hathaway. This role is a lot because it requires an actress to have that beautiful soprano rage, but it also requires her to be both serious and grounding as the kind of serious romantic couple, quote unquote, but also to have incredible comedic timing, especially when she goes to Havana. And Anne Hathaway ticks all the boxes. I think she would be brilliant at it. I think she would nail the character, the stoicness, and then the kind of fun nature. And I think definitely with who I've got as Sky, I think they would work really well off each other. And Sky Masterson, Ryan Gosling, especially coming off Barbie, I have no doubt that he's probably gonna have offers pouring in for him to do a movie musical again. And I think he wouldn't rock it. Sky Masterson has to be sexy, obviously. He has to be charming, obviously. He also has to have a kind of funny sense of humour, obviously. I think that would work really, really well. And I think him and Anne Hathaway would ba balance each other out, again, as the more kind of serious couple compared to Nathan and Adelaide. I think he'd do it. I think he would rock luck be a lady tonight. And I think it could be absolutely incredible. And again, be a big name, especially coming off one of the biggest movies of last year, to really sell this movie and promote this movie to get people interested. So those are my picks for a remake of Guys and Dolls. Who are yours? Let me know.